are still watching Breakfast Central on News Essential. Let's move on to some business discussions now. Now, the Chinese ambassador to Nigeria, Chui Jiangqing, uh, has uh, disclosed that his country is working towards establishing uh, Chinese-owned banks and operations uh, in Nigeria. Now, Mr. Jiangqing uh, made this known in Abuja while addressing journalists during his uh, commemoration of the 2021 Chinese Moon Festival and the China Cultural uh, Week on Tuesday. Now, our business desk editor, Nas Nasi Agbalaya, joins us now to dissect this story and more. Good morning, Nas. Now, what does this mean for the Nigerian economy? Oluchi, good morning. Olisa, good morning. morning. Well, it's uh, good news, really, because uh, this, is, this means that more Nigerians will be employed in these banks. Uh, we're not sure exactly how many, of, uh, how many Chinese banks will start operation in Nigeria or how soon this will be. But it is still a good thing. Don't forget that many Nigerians trade with China. We buy lots of things from China. So this means that you can uh, change uh, the Naira to the rand being faster than when you have to uh, change to the, the dollar first. It also means that uh, Nigerians can actually invest in China if they want to. No, this uh, will further enhance business between Nigerians and Chinese. All right, Naz. Now, could this uh, be part of you know, a pact signed by the uh, federal government to further uh, better the lives of Nigerians? So I didn't get that question. Could, it be, could this be a part of you know, the pact signed by the government, federal government with these Chinese uh, uh, ambassadors and the Chinese group to further better the lives of Nigerians? You know, definitely. You know, like I mentioned earlier, it will make business between both countries faster. Now, uh, we do know that uh, many uh, Nigerians have lost their job because of the COVID-19 pandemic. So every opportunity to ensure that more people join the workforce is a wonderful development. So, a thumbs up for the government. Right. Now, Nas, I mean, we know that about 16 African banks, including a very prominent bank in the Democratic Republic of Congo, has signed um, some MOUs with the Chinese, um, finance, the financing sector, the financial banks in China. But could this also be as a result of the debt owed by Nigeria? Over $3 billion, that is what Nigeria is owing China at this point. Could this be because they need to put their eyeballs where this money is? I would not rule it out entirely, but from what I gather, it is not part of the negotiation. Now, the, the money Nigeria borrowed from China is a different ballgame from this. This is just a way of ensuring there's more investment in Nigeria. Well, you could say that yeah, the Chinese on their part would say, yeah, fine, they want to uh, keep an eye on uh, Nigeria and Nigerians. But really, it's a win-win situation, looking at it holistically. Nigeria can trade with China faster with this agreement. That is something which we should not forget. Many products around the globe are made in China. So if you now have access to buying or making things in China, it's a good thing. Though, it should not be overemphasized because uh, local industry needs to still be developed. Because when you can export more goods from your shores, now that shows up your foreign exchange and of course uh, further enhances the power of your legal tender. In our case, the Naira. So we need to export more things. All right, and uh, so uh, more uh, perhaps uh, Chinese banks opening in Nigeria, clearly that means more investment, more uh, fiscal policy that has to be done in terms of the Apex Bank's uh, point of view. Uh, mm -hmm. But uh, realistically, uh, uh, Naz, it's quite important to put this. In terms of the banking infrastructure of Nigeria, many will say it's quite high, uh, you know, since the turn of the Soledo era uh, in, in Nigeria, where we are now in our banking system. Do we need this, you know, perhaps Chinese banking or Chinese-owned banks in Nigeria? Or we're good with the ones that we have, we're doing so well in terms of e-banking in Africa? Well, it is also possible, let's not rule out that, these, these new banks who want to come into Nigeria would have partners in Nigeria. That's a, a, a discussion which many are not looking at. It's not as if everyone would come in to start up shop afresh, but it is easier and faster for them when they have uh, Nigerian partners. That's something which I believe uh, they are looking at. I don't mean that they just uh, come in and start uh, opening branches everywhere. That is very capital intensive. And from what, we, what, what I know of China and Chinese businesses, they look at the most cost effective option for them. So starting uh, afresh might not be uh, what they will go for right now. It's possible they will start first with uh, partnering with some Nigerian entities. You know that we have several 
banks, several financial institutions in Nigeria, from those who just uh, handle transactions and to those who uh, lend at the micro uh, and medium scale level. So mm -hmm. there are many avenues, many opportunities for China to come in. This right. is particularly a means of China investing in Nigeria. Yeah, that, that's okay. So that's good for the investment. Uh, but in terms of the uh, healthiness, you know, the, uh, can I say, the financial health of Nigerian banks right now, do you see anybody being at risk of being perhaps absorbed by these Chinese-owned conglomerates? Well, um, it is not about the health per se that ensures that you partner with uh, a bank or an institution. It is about mutual interest. You know, there are banks here who are, say, regional banks who may want to scale up their operations. Mm. Now, those banks are prime target who uh, these Chinese firms who have more money than the indigenous banks in that category. So those ones could be partnered with to scale up their operation. As I said, it is uh, really a win-win for both nations and both economies. Let's not forget that both nations got independent on, on October 1st also. Mm. All right. Okay. All right. Thank you so much, Naz. A lot of Nigerians will be looking at this situation. Um, according to my people from the corner of their eye, which you know. But thank you so much for giving us the business update for today. Great to be here, guys. Mm -hmm.